Welcome to Traffic Travis version 4. In this video tutorial, we're going to take a look at the Research tab in Traffic Travis. The Research tab is designed to help you find appropriate keywords that you could optimize on your website to improve your search engine rankings. It also has a useful domain research tool that you can use to find a domain name if you haven't yet created a website. To use the Keyword Research tool, click on the Research tab in Traffic Travis, then click in the Keyword box. If you've got an active project, Traffic Travis will list all the project keywords that you added when you set up the project. You can customize this list however you like. If you later want to reset it back to your project's keywords, click on Restore from Project next to the OK button. In the value next to the keyword box, you can select how many keywords you'd like Traffic Travis to find and get results for. The minimum is 50 keywords, but you can retrieve up to 2,000. If you would like more control over how Traffic Travis calculates the search volumes, click on Advanced Settings underneath the Fetch button. From here, you can choose whether Traffic Travis will get its results based on a broad, exact, or phrase match. When Traffic Travis does a broad search on a keyword, it means that it adds together the results for phrases that contain at least one of the words in your keyword. For example, if you were running a search on the phrase apple pie, Traffic Travis would grab the results that either had the words apple or pie or both in either order along with other words. This means that you could be getting the search volumes for results such as pie, apple, apple pie recipes, blueberry pie recipes, pumpkin pie recipes, granny smith apples, apple pictures, and so forth for just the keyword apple pie. When Traffic Travis does an exact match on a keyword, it gets the results for searches that are only exact matches of your keyword. For example, if you were running a search on Apple Pie, Traffic Travis would only match the keyword Apple Pie and nothing else. When Traffic Travis does a phrase match on a keyword, it means that it adds together the results for phrases that have all the words in your keyword, in the order you wrote them. For example, the keyword Apple Pie. Traffic Travis would add together results from searches that had the phrase apple pie somewhere in them. For example, it would match apple pie and apple pie recipes, but not pie made of apple. The default search type is for exact match, and the majority of users will use this to ensure that they only get the search volumes for the exact keyword listed. If you would like to change your default search type, go to the File menu, select Program Options, go to the AdWords tab, and change the default keyword match. The other settings you can change in the Advanced Settings dialog is the country to check and the language your users will be searching with. The most commonly selected countries, United States, United Kingdom, Japan, Germany, and Brazil are at the top of the list, while the rest are labeled in alphabetical order. The language and country you select will affect the suggested keywords and the search counts based on the search volumes from that particular demographic. After you click Fetch, the results will start to come back. In the first column, you'll see the keywords. These are either the keywords you've entered or keywords that are related to the keywords you entered. The next column, Global Count, is the approximate global searches done for that keyword on a monthly basis. The next column shows how many monthly searches are done on that keyword from the country you requested to search from, by default, the US. The next column, Competition, shows how much pay-per-click competition there is on the keyword. If you get no data, it generally means the competition is very, very low. Otherwise, you'll generally get a rating of low, medium, or high, along with a percentage, to indicate the approximate pay-per-click competition. The next column, Average PPC, shows how much it would cost, on average, to bid on the keyword for PPC ads. Finally, the SERPs column shows how many search results you get when you do a search for that keyword. Once you have a list of results, you can search these results by each column by clicking on the column headers. For example, you can sort by highest to lowest global searches by clicking on the global count column above your results. To sort by lowest to highest, click on the column again. To sort by another column, just click on that column's header. If you have a project active and would like to add one of the suggested keywords to your project, you can tick it and click Add in the bottom toolbar. If you would like to hide a specific result, tick the result on the left-hand side and click Hide in the bottom toolbar. You can also filter your results by any of the columns by clicking on the blue icon above the last column. For example, you may want to filter by certain words in the keywords or by average pay-per-click. You can export a list of your results using the bottom toolbar below your results. 
The PDF button will export a professional-looking report containing all the keywords listed in your results, along with their global count. Alternatively, you can send your data out as a CSV if you want to import it into a spreadsheet in Excel to look at later, for example. In both cases, any filters and sorting you have applied will affect what shows up in your PDFs and CSVs. The second key feature on the Research tab in Traffic Travis is the Domains Research tool. This tool is designed to suggest domain names based on the keywords you give it. To use the Domains Research tool, click on the Research tab in Traffic Travis and then click on Domains. To begin your search, click in the Keywords box. If one of your projects is currently active, the keywords from your project will be suggested to you. However, you can customize your keywords however you like. You can also change some advanced settings for how Traffic Travis makes its keyword suggestions. To change the advanced settings, click on the Advanced Settings link underneath the Fetch button. From here, you can choose to have Traffic Travis suggest hyphenated domain names, non-hyphenated domain names, or a mix of the two. You can choose whether you want Traffic Travis to suggest domains that exactly match your keywords. You can also choose to have Traffic Travis suggest domains that have specific words in them. To actually run a search, click on the Fetch button. Traffic Travis will take a moment or two and come up with some domain suggestions. It'll do its best to come up with relevant domains, but it doesn't always succeed, so don't be too surprised to see a completely unusual domain show up on the list. Once the list of results has completely loaded, you can see the base domain in the domain column, and whether the .com, .net, or .org for that domain are available. For example, if I have apple pie in the domain column and crosses under the .com, .net, and .org columns, it means applepie.com, applepie.net, and applepie.org are already taken. You can filter your results by clicking on the blue filter icon at the top right of the results panel. From here, you can choose to filter based on whether the domains are available or not and whether they contain specific text. When you've found a domain you'd like to examine closer, click on the tick or cross in the .com, .net, or .org column to add that domain to your domain shortlist. Once you have some suitable domains on your domain shortlist, you can choose to select and register these from inside Traffic Travis using some pre-selected domain registrars. Of course, you don't have to register domains through Traffic Travis, but if you'd like to, select one or more domains from your shortlist, select a domain registrar from the drop-down dialog box, and click Purchase. Your web browser will open with the domain registrar's website and will prompt you to purchase the domains you selected. Back in Traffic Travis, the final thing you can do with your list of domains is export them as either a PDF report or a CSV table using the Data Options menu bar below your results. In both cases, if you have any filters applied, this will affect what ends up in your PDF or CSV files. And that's your overview for using the research section of Traffic Travis. Thanks for watching.